Hello everybody, my name is Sniping is Fun, and I welcome you all back to the next newcomer idea in this series of newcomer ideas for Smash Brothers Ultimate character number, newcomer number 75. We are finally on character number 75. We're jumping back into third party characters after 74 was about Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now we're on to the next third party character in this series, and a character I wanted to talk about for quite some time, and a character I feel might actually be a good choice for a third party character in Smash Brothers, and that is the Doom guy, the Doom Slayer from obviously in its his name, uh, Doom, as a possible choice for a third party character in the upcoming Smash Bros. Ultimate game on the Nintendo Switch. And like always, three different categories. Reasons for why the character makes sense to be in Smash Bros. Moves to ideas, in percentage chance I could see him actually getting in. Now, why do I feel Doom of all franchises should be, you know, represented in Smash Brothers. Why should the Doom guy, why should the Doom Slayer be included as a playable third-party character in the upcoming Smash Brothers game? Well, let's just get started on always. <clears throat> First and foremost, Doom as a third-party franchise has had numerous appearances on the Nintendo brand. As strange as you guys might find that is about Nintendo having this dark, mature game, even back then, yes, they've had numerous third-party franchises, third-party companies bring darker, mature, grittier third-party games to their system. And Doom has been on Nintendo since the Super Nintendo, the original game back in the 90s, the PC game was ported and made for the Super Nintendo. And then there was an N64 game. Doom 64 came out on the N64. So Nintendo does have history with the Doom franchise on their systems. It's not just a recent thing. It's an old school thing. They had games way back in the 16-bit and 32, 64, whatever bit eras, the fourth generation and fifth generation. Back when the game came out, it was one of the biggest platforms to get this, you know, the game on was Nintendo, the N64, the Super Nintendo. It wasn't all just the PC version or the PlayStation or whatnot. It also was on Nintendo. So the third-party franchise, Doom, has a long history with Nintendo that didn't just stop there. I did say recent memory, too, because the recent Doom game from 2016, I think, came out was ported to the Nintendo Switch. And you know what's also coming to the Nintendo Switch? The new upcoming Doom game, Doom Eternal. So Doom has had a lot recent you know, relevancy on Nintendo and old school relevancy on Nintendo. It is a third party franchise from Bethesda, from ID Software that has a long history on Nintendo. And it's a popular history too. I do remember the game selling pretty well. Doom on the, on the Switch is sold so well. That's the reason why Bethesda and ID Software are bringing Doom Eternal to the Switch. And, you know, the Super Nintendo N64 games, I recall, doing pretty damn well, good as well, you know, as well. So it is a popular, well-selling third-party franchise that has a history on Nintendo. He is the main character. He's the Doom guy you see with the face, and it's all bloodied up when he gets shot. He's like, <clears throat> you know, that kind of thing, you know, in the game. And then Bethesda has an ID software, Bethesda especially because they're the publisher, has become a big supporter of Nintendo recently. They've never been that big of a supporter back then. Like, they support Nintendo here and there very little, but since the Switch came out, they've supported it with Skyrim, there's the two Dooms, there's Wolfenstein 2, there's a numerous amount of games. We probably will eventually get a Fallout on Nintendo Switch. So Bethesda's become such a big third-party company supporting Nintendo lately. I don't really see an issue with them getting one of their characters, one of their franchises represented in Smash Brothers, and it will be a Western third-party character, which we do not have one of yet. So, I think the Doom guy fits in pretty well. I'll say so myself, the Doom Slayer, the Doom guy, Doom, because of its history on Nintendo dating back to the Super Nintendo and the N64, the recent two games, Doom and now Doom Eternal coming to Nintendo Switch, and it's one of Bethesda's biggest, most popular franchises. They've been supporting Nintendo for quite a long time, and ID Software has been doing it forever, so yeah. How about the Doom guy for Smash Brothers? Move said ideas. Now, I've played a little bit of Doom. I had to do a little bit of research on the weaponry in the games, because I haven't played a new Doom yet. I'm going to get that on the Switch eventually, probably the PS4 too, when I get one. But I have played the old school Dooms. I do recall playing the Super Nintendo game at some point in my life. I did. I used to own the N64 game, and I do recall playing at least a demo of Doom 3, so I got a basic gist of the Doom franchise, and I do like it. I just never really got into playing it like a lot of other gamers out there, so I had to do a little bit of research. 
But the Doom guy would be like super heavy weapon based, super heavy gritty, massive space soldier, you know, in your face fighting style with both of his fists and with weaponry and guns. So think of like, I was thinking of like Solid Snake, but take out the CQC and just he's a hard hitting super. Like, and then he's like. So basically, he's take out the CQC, make him super heavy, angry marine space guy that just shoots at you and beats you up. And basically, it's like my Leon Kennedy esque moves that I made a long ways back where he had a bunch of weaponry in it. Just make it more, you know, Doom weaponry. So it's kind of like that. <clears throat> I think it worked out pretty well. His smash attacks, in the actual Doom games, you can punch and you can kick. So basically, he will go in for punch combos like boom, oh boom, oh boom. Maybe going for a shoulder tackle. And then maybe he can just grab you by the head. Boom. Like, you know, just think of like hard hitting. He doesn't really have a fighting style. He's just very gritty, very in your face, punching, brawling type style. And he can punch you, punch you, and he's like, and he can kick you. He can go to a combo where he's like, and just kick you. And just it, It's a hard hitting damage combo. He's not super fast, obviously, because he's a big space marine guy, but he will deal a lot of damage with his punches and kicks. On top of which, another smash attack I think I would give him too, because all his weaponry, all his like guns and stuff, I would give him as a special attack. So I'll get there in one second. In the Doom games, you could also get a chainsaw, which I know might not might be a little too dark and gritty for Smash Brothers, and they might have to tone it down a bit. But I don't really see too much of an issue. He just takes out a chainsaw. <laughs> So yeah, so some smash attacks are punches and kicks, shoulder tackles, and bashing you your his head. Other ones will be the chainsaw because who wouldn't want a chainsaw in Smash Brothers? Just just be serious. And then Doom guy is like the one guy it would make sense to, without it being super gritty and super bloody or anything. You could censor it a whole heck of a lot, like they've done like Snake and Bayonetta and whatnot. So yeah, that works. His special attacks will be a bunch of the guns. I did some research on certain types of guns. There's likes of the heavy assault rifle, the Gauss cannon, frag grenades, pistols, super shotguns, chain guns, mines, rocket launchers, a static rifle, all these different guns. But I know for a fact you wouldn't be able to probably get all of them into his moveset. So I was thinking about limiting it to four or five just to be like, okay, the basic weaponry he can use. I have to have the assault rifle. So he has like a machine gun that he can shoot off. That's fine. I have to put that in there. The super shotgun is a staple of the freaking Doom franchise. You have to have the shotgun. So it's close range power blasting super shotgun. I put the chain gun so it's a more faster period, you know, faster, you know, shooting like gun rifle. And it's like, but you have to stand still. Like with the assault rifle, you could probably move and shoot. The chain gun, you have to stand still and shoot when you shoot it. It's faster than the um, assault rifle though. You have to have the frag grenades because that's a staple of the franchise too. So he has a throwing weapon. And I'm thinking maybe the rocket launcher, so it's just the it shoots, but it's from a farther distance, and you have to be precise to cause some damage. If you miss even a little bit, it won't hurt anything. So that's about five right there, right? One, two, three. yeah, that's about, yeah, about five. So the heavy assault rifle, the super shotgun, the chain gun, throwing frag grenades, and a rocket launcher. And if you want to throw in the sixth one, I would say maybe, maybe the the pistol or something or the static rifle i don't know but those other ones are like staples of the franchise the heavy assault rifle is pretty staple-ish the super shotgun is the staple of the franchise throwing grenades is a staple rocket launcher is a staple and chain gun at least is super relevant in terms of the newer doom games i tried to base the weaponry off a mix of old school doom and new school doom because i think if they ever put in the doom slayer ever put in the doom guy you would have to represent both old school and new school doom because i think he'd get both his costumes it'd be kind of like the cloud situation where you get the final fantasy 7 cloud but you also get the advent children you know cloud so i would say this is the new current doom guy doom slayer where he's like super heavily armored and space marine-ish but in the older games, he doesn't have, you can see his arms. He has different armor. If you go look at old school artwork and old school designs of the Doom guy from back in the day in the 90s, I would say that'd be an alternate costume. You have the old school Doom guy costume and you have the new school Doom guy costume. So I wanted to base it off of if he was put in the game, he would have both costumes. So he has to have weaponry that represents both old school and new school Doom. And some of those weapons actually stand the test of time and represent both, like the shotgun and the rocket launcher and grenades. And then like the heavy assault rifle is kind of a mix of both but more so i think new and the chain gun i think is a straight up new weapon 
So there you go. That's what I would do. He would be, so for smash attacks, he's up close to your face and he's just brawling with you. He's just angry space marine guy just wants to kick your butt and just knock you to the ground, just bash his head at you and chainsaw you and stuff like that. His smash, his special attacks would be where all the weaponry comes in. He will shoot you with an assault rifle or a shotgun or throw grenades at you or go you, hit you with a rocket launcher or a chain gun. So there you go. So he's a heavy, hard-hitting character. He's not going to be the fastest in the game, obviously. But he's not going to be super slow. He's not going to be like Ganon or Bowser slow. But he's going to kind of be like a slow-ish character that is heavy-hitting. So it's kind of a risk versus reward kind of thing. And he's going to hit you with heavy amounts of damage. It's just some of his combos might not be super fast. But if he hits you with them, you get a good chunk of damage. And he's not super slow. But he makes up for it by being able to hit you with farther range weapons like guns. So there you go. And now on to the final smash. It has to be this because it's the most iconic weapon in the entire series, old or new. His final smash is going to be the BFG. It has to be the big gun. The BFG has to be Doom Guy's Doom Slayer's final smash. He like it won't be a cutscene based one. I don't. I want to just make it straight to the point. He pulls out the BFG, which shoots out these big energy electric balls that just blow up opponents basically. So basically, he just pulls it out, shoots a big giant energy beam across the stage, and if any opponents get caught in it, like if you get caught in like, you know, Sheik, you know, back in like in Smash Brothers Four, like Sheik or Zelda's arrow, or you get caught in like Mar for Lucina's, you know critical strike you know he dashes for like how they dash forward or shoot an arrow forward if you're in the line of sight where this bfg energy lightning beam of like ball comes flying across it will blow up and you get sent flying off the stage it has to be that now obviously it won't disintegrate you blood and everything and stuff you have to at least censor him a little bit but it's the basic stat you know weapon and it just blows people up anyway so it just blows you off the stage especially with high critical damage so that's going to be it for his move set. Now on to percentage chance I could actually see him getting in. Um, it's possible. It's not the most likely. There's a lot of third parties that are a whole heck of a lot more likely than he is. I think the likes of Rayman's more likely. Shantae's more likely. Even Travis Touchdown, debatable, it might be more likely. The likes of Crash Bandicoot might be more likely. Phoenix Wright might be more likely. The Monster Hunter might be more likely. Someone from Resident Evil might be more likely. But I wouldn't put him at the lowest third party character possible i'm giving him a 50 percent chance because it could be possible because of bethesda support on nintendo recently and doom's history on you know nintendo in general not just recently but dating back to the super nintendo and s64 like i mentioned earlier in this video it's possible he could be the first you know western third party character in the game i mean in terms of Western third-party characters, I think Shantae and Rayman stand more test of time likely chance than he does, but his series is still iconic enough and still recent enough on Nintendo. He might be a Western third-party character they consider at some point, and he can be censored. I know a lot of people say, oh, he's too gritty, it's even Bayonetta is and and, and and Snake can be censored, but he can't. Like all you have to censor is his violence. That's all you have to censor. It's harder to censor Bayonetta given that her suit is her hair and she's literally naked. Nine times out of ten. Like, they got Bayonetta in there. They can get these darker, gritty, more mature characters in there. And especially one that has history on Nintendo like he does, his series does. I don't think the fact that Doom is so graphic and dark is going to ever hurt his chances of getting in. It's just, do they want to put him in now, later? Or, is, like, is he a third party that is possible now, really? That's the whole thing. He fits the bill of being an iconic third party character that has a long time in history with Nintendo. He has a good moveset potential. And his series is there both back then and now. It's just, will they go for it or not? Him being dark and gritty isn't going to hurt his chances, but I'm giving him a 50% chance that it's possible. It's just like there's a lot of third parties that are more likely than he is, but he stands in the middle ground, like 50%, like it's the halfway point of yes and no. Like it's possible, but we don't know for sure because we haven't seen a Western third party character yet ever include in Smash Brothers. And we may never, but I'm assuming at this point there's so many viable choices like Shantae, Doom Guy, you know, Crash Bandicoot, and um, <clears throat> and Rayman and whatnot. It's gonna happen inevitably. So just it's, it's his chances. I don't know, but I'm giving them 50 percent chance that it's possible because of its history and recency on Nintendo's popularity and whatnot, and moveset potential and everything. He's just like not the biggest third party to pick, you know, for. Smash Brothers, but given that Bethesda's been pushing their games and their franchises on Nintendo, there's bound to be a character from them, hopefully at some point, and they at least stand a chance. So that's it for a Doom Guy. 
And I hope you guys like this video. Put in the comments below. Do you guys want to see the Doom guy, the Doom Slayer in Smash Brothers at any point in time? Are you fans of Doom? Do you want to see it represented? What about my reasons? Do they make sense? What reasons would you have to make, put them in there? Do you even want them in there at all? Are my moveset ideas good? What moveset ideas could you get the Doom Slayer? Is that Final Smash cool? Because it has to be the BFG. So the BFG has to be in his moveset somewhere. And um, percentage chance is 50 too high, too low. I think it's just right in the middle because he fits but he's not the best, biggest, you know, most obvious choice right now. There's like new, I could probably name 10 at least that make more sense to be the next third party before he is. But he's like higher than some third parties that some people mention too. So he's above others as well. So yeah, put in the comments below, discuss it, that we have fun. That's character number 75. And when I return back for character number 76, we're going to go from one dark, gritty, mature third party franchise that has history with Nintendo all the way to another when I talk about Mortal Kombat's own Sub-Zero. See you in character number 67. Hope you have a nice day. Peace, please subscribe if you want to. My name is Sniper's Fun, and see you all later. Bye.